And we want to shift back to those deadly crashes. You know, we're sending our thoughts and prayers to the five folks who lost their lives uh, today on I-10 in Orange. But those crashes are raising some crucial questions like what could be causing all of these accidents? Yeah, and new here at 6, we're getting more insight about the number of crashes that are happening on this very stretch of Interstate 10 in Orange County. Here's Amelia White. The highway safety industry is urging folks to be careful on the roads as car accidents across the state is still a main concern. Crash after crash, it's starting to become the norm here in Southeast Texas. We're seeing a drop in vehicles on the road. Here. But a drop in vehicles didn't lead to a drop in fatal accidents. And actually, the death rate stayed the same. At the peak of the pandemic, TxDOT anticipated a dive in the number of fatal wrecks, but that didn't happen. We've gone 20 years without a death free day on Texas roadways and we need to stop that. So far this year, 3,445 fatal wrecks have been reported across Texas. Last year, the number was 3,623. After a tragic day on the roads in Orange County, we decided to dig a little deeper. The last four years have shown a decline in crashes, crunching the numbers from the state's crash record information system. There were 734 crashes reported in 2017. That number has dropped to 554 this year. Dupre says there's one major takeaway. Most crashes are preventable. Most car accidents this year were caused by speeding, drunk driving, or distracted driving. It needs to stop. 100% it needs to stop. And it's up to all of us to work towards ending that daily streak of deaths on Texas roadways. We all have to put in the effort. Triple A rep Joshua Zuber says that effort includes not engaging in distracted driving or incidents of road rage. Holidays are stressful enough already uh, before the pandemic, right? So this season, tensions are likely to be elevated on the roadways. So here are a few holiday travel road rage tips that could avoid accidents. Don't offend other drivers, be kind, and just don't respond. As we continue to go through the holiday season, transportation officials are encouraging folks to plan out their road trips ahead of time to look out for traffic delays or roadblocks. Planning ahead is also a way to avoid accidents. In Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News.